They've waited 13 years for a home playoff game here on the south side of Chicago, and they have one with their backs to the wall tonight. The Astros lead the White Sox 2-0 in the series. It is Cease with the ball as he warms up tonight for game three, AJ. Well, Dylan Cease, Tom mentioned it, and he framed it beautifully. He's got to use his off speed. And the reason the Astros have hit him around is because of that fastball. He's 0-3 career against the Astros. Two up, two down here in the opening inning. And here comes Alex Bregman. Defense straight up. The pitch, swing, and a miss, strike three. Some good high gas at 100. And it's the 24-year-old from Venezuela, Luis Garcia, who had a fantastic official rookie year, his second career postseason start. This guy has no fear. He's a fastball cutter, slider, changeup, and a curveball. He already faced the White Sox once this year. Seven innings, only seven hits, one run. The payoff pitch to Tim Anderson. Into right, a base hit. Leadoff man is aboard for the White Sox here in the bottom of the first. So two on, two out, and here's Aloy Jimenez. No one. Towards center field and down for a base hit. Anderson rounding third. The throw from Myers. White Sox take the lead in game three. Right on cue, it's Eloy Jimenez to put the White Sox in front out of the gate. Here's Johan Moncada. Towards the gap in right center field. Myers hustling to the gap to make the catch and end the inning. Covering a lot of ground in that bottom of the first. Back to back walks to start off the inning. And now it's Kyle Tucker's turn, the 2-0. And Tucker cranks one toward right center field, headed for the gap. That's down for a base hit, and that's going to go all the way to the wall. Alvarez scores. Correa around third and coming home. Uh, the relay by Hernandez to the plate. Not nearly in time. It's a two-run double for Kyle Tucker, and the Astros lead it 2-1. to one. Tucker drives in his fourth and fifth runs of the series. 2-1 to one Astros lead. Infield will come in for Jake Myers. On the ground, pass to diving Moncada. It's 3-1 to one Houston. Jake Myers coming up big in his first postseason. Third hit of the series for Jake Myers with Mankata playing in, limits the range, and that just whistled past him to his left. Two out, Myers still at second for Altuve, who flat out to right center in the first. Dusty wants Kopech in this game as soon as possible, because the more pitches Kopech has to throw in this game, the less of a chance if the White Sox win, they'll see him in four or five. Astros have scored three times, and Cease is done. Michael Kopech is on for the first time in this series. Brantley lifts it in the air to left. Jimenez is there. And Kopech comes on and gets out of the inning. But three runs across against Dylan Cease. So Correa's on first. Two outs now for Tucker, who had a two-run double in the second inning. Kopech's first pitch. Ripped to left field. Pretty deep going back. Jimenez still back. on. Oh! Two-run shot by Kyle Tucker, the king. And the Astros lead it five to one. Tucker with another opposite field homer, and he shocks the White Sox. You can hear a pin drop in this stadium right now. Shift is on for Grandal with one on and one out. Grandal sends it in the air to left. Brantley ranging back at the wall. A leap, and it's gone. First extra base hit of the series for the Sox. Gets him back within two. And the fans are back in it. The Sox needed that like they need oxygen. This could just revive an offense that's just been staying alive. Back to back two out hits. And it'll bring up Garcia. Leury will bat with two men on. 1 0. 2 0. Here comes Dusty Baker to make a change. They tried to stick with Garcia to try to get out of the inning, but back to back two out singles from Moncada and Sheets. 2 0 count, two outs, 5 3 Houston bottom third, and Tom Verducci, Yimmy Garcia is in. 3 1 pitch, hammered in the air, deep center field. That baby will go! A home run! Three run homer, Leori! And they've got the lead! We talked about the home run was needed, and it has been delivered here in the third inning. A two-run jack by Grandal, a three-run jack by Leori Garcia. Altuve's on second, Brantley's on first. Bregman one for two, had a single his last time up. 1-0. Back up the middle and into center field. Altuve around third. Here comes the throw. It is cut off, and Alex Bregman has tied the game at six apiece. A two-out rally from the Astros here in the fourth. 
Another 3-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So they do tie it. But Kopech fans Alvarez. The Astros leave a pair. They're at the corners with nobody out for Abreu. Abreu bouncing ball. Pass to him. White Sox regain the lead. On his way to third, Robert. He'll take that base. An RBI from Abreu, and it's 7-6. to six. 19 career postseason appearances for Zach Greinke. 19 starts for the first time in his long and potentially Hall of Fame career. He's going to appear in the postseason as a reliever. These guys were teammates with the Dodgers in 15. Greinke to Grandolph. Bouncing ball to the right side. They're coming home with it. The throw is away from the catcher, Maldonado. Tom Hallion got taken out by Robert. Abreu ball, goes in the, the third. Ball, the ball hit the runner. Grandal was inside the line. The throw home hit the runner. It hit his helmet, right? He was inside the line, and the ball hit hit, hit, hit him when Gurriel threw it home. <laughs> what in the world Wild just play. happened? Wild play. Wild. He would have been out at the plate. But he was way inside. What did how what happened to Howie? He got trucked by Luis, Luis Robert, Robert came home. charging home. I think this is going to go the White Sox way. And it's eight to six. And there's still nobody out. And Aloy Jimenez is a batter. Three two. With a roller up the line. It's a fair ball. Glove by the third baseman Bregman. Not in time. One scores. It's nine to six White Sox. And the ninth batter of the inning now is Cesar Hernandez. White Sox lead nine to six, bases loaded, two outs. Still in the fourth, a 1-1. One, one. On the ground to first, Gurriel is there, foot race to the bag, and the inning finally comes to a close. So two on now for Aloy Jimenez, a couple of RBI singles and three trips to the plate tonight. And another strikeout. It's a three strikeout frame for Javier. He leaves a couple men stranded. Three and two on sheets. And a good off-speed pitch from Javier for another strikeout. That's his fourth since coming in. Larry Garcia, the batter. Payoff pitch to Garcia. And another strikeout. Five of them out of the pen for Christian Javier. Brantley, the first Astro to bat here in the seventh. The one-two from Bummer. Swing and a miss on a slider. Two-two. Two away. A filthy, filthy breaking bar. Jordan Alvarez. Two outs. Called strike three on a cutter. Bummer just struck out the side. As Craig Kimball comes on, you see the splits. He's pitching the ninth inning with the Cubs on the north side in the eighth inning on the south side with the White Sox. Kimball downhill on one two to Gurriel. Bouncing ball to Moncada. Picked out by Abreu. A one two three eighth between Bummer and Kimball. Moncada reaches with two outs with the lefty Rayleigh out there. They'll take the lefty Sheets out and bring in the right-hander Andrew Vaughn. In the air, left center field. This one is carrying back towards the wall and it's gonna head all the way to the fence. Big insurance run will score to extend the lead to four. Andrew Vaughn off the bench delivers. Leury right-handed with a runner at second. Garcia over the third baseman Bregman. Another run will score. Vaughn comes home. One of the biggest nights of Leury Garcia's career. And they're at the corners for Tim Anderson. Ground ball past Correa, and the White Sox will add another. Three in the eighth, it's 12 to six. It scored five in the first two games in Houston. They put the offense together here in game three. He's ready. Full count pitch, swing and a miss. Two down. Altuve with two outs. There will be a game four. 13 years since the last time this stadium hosted a playoff game. They didn't get to see it last year. The energy, the blackout. Their first home playoff win since game three against the Rays in 2008. Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. As real as it tastes.